Dr. Kessler, would you describe your history and relationship to Dr. Hill? Dr. Hill was a student of mine at medical school. Upon graduation, I asked him to serve his residency under my direction at Mass General. Uh, when he finished the residency, I asked him to join our surgical staff. Dr. Kessler, how long have you been teaching at Harvard Medical School? 21 years. How long have you been chief of staff at Mass General? 14 years. So you've been in a position to work with thousands of young doctors, am I correct? Yes. I might add that the doctors I've had the pleasure to teach and work with are among the very best in the world. And how would Dr. Hill rank in this group that are among the very best in the world? There's no one any better. Thank you. Mr. Riley? Dr. Kessel, your faith in Dr. Hill's surgical talent is obvious. And completely deserved. Dr. Kessler, seven months ago, the position of Chief of Surgery became available at Mass General. Did Jed Hill seek this position? Yes, he did. Did you give the position to Jed? Excuse me. My client's name is Dr. Hill. Forgive me, did you award the position to Dr. Hill? No. Why not? Well, he was certainly qualified. But you didn't give him the job. There were many other candidates. Surgeons more qualified? This isn't a trial, Mr. Riley. Dr. Kessler, during Dr. Hill's residency at Mass General, he wrote several quarterly evaluations. Evaluations would be read and reviewed by hospital administrators, department heads. Yes. I'm looking at one right now, dated June 15th, 1982, and bearing your signature. It's coming around. I'd like to read from page three, paragraph four. While Jed Hill consistently remains the most skilled and the brightest of our residents, we should not ignore what I and several of his colleagues observed to be an indulgence of the God complex. God complex. That's not a typo, is it? It says God complex. That was written a decade ago. What's a God complex? How did you get this information? This is privileged Dr. information. Kessler, what's a God complex? It's a term that has no clinical meaning or, uh, at all. Doctors S throw it around. And... Sir, all due respect, but knock it off. What did you mean in this evaluation when you said Dr. Hill had a God complex? The power to heal can be an enormous thing. An enormous thing. To save a life, to get blood flowing into cells and vital organs, if a person can do that, and if one can do it as exceptionally as Dr. Hill, it's not uncommon for a person like that to begin to believe that he can do anything. The power to heal can be like a drug. Like a drug, you say? Would it be uncommon for a person with a God complex to reject the advice of others? No. Would it be uncommon for such a person to proceed on a course that others might reject if only out of a sense of godlike power? Oh, I think now you're vastly overstating. Is that why you didn't give Dr. Hill the job? There were a number of other factors. Is that why you removed a healthy ovary without any scientific diagnosis? Don't you address my client, Mr. Riley. Do you have a God complex? This is not acceptable. No, no, let him address me. Jed? No, no, it's about time I got to give some answers here. Stop typing, this is off the record. The question is, do I have a God complex? Dr. Kessler says yes. Which makes me wonder if this lawyer has any idea as to the kind of grades one has to receive in college to be accepted at a top medical school. If you have the vaguest clue as to how talented someone has to be to lead a surgical team, I have an MD from Harvard. I am board certified in cardiothoracic medicine and trauma surgery. I have been awarded citations from seven different medical boards in New England, and I am never, ever sick at sea. So I ask you, when someone goes into that chapel and they fall on their knees and they pray to God that their wife doesn't miscarry or that their daughter doesn't bleed to death, or that their mother doesn't suffer acute neural trauma from post-operative shock, who do you think they're praying to? Now, you go ahead and read your Bible, Dennis, and you go to your church, and with any luck, you might win the annual raffle, but if you're looking for God, he was in operating room number two on November 17th, and he doesn't like to be second-guessed. You ask me if I have a God complex? Let me tell you something. I am God.
And this sideshow is over. You got a winner here, Lester. Call my office in the morning and we'll work out a settlement. It gets better. What do you mean? We talked to the bartender at a place called the Prince William Tavern. Ask God how many shots of bourbon he had before he cut me. 